Hi, welcome to another story time video with the librarian Melly. Today I have a very funny book. It's entitled Peanut Butter and Jelly slash Brains. Do you guys know what this is here? Oh, and it's by Joe McGee. Um, it's illustrated by, by Charles Santasso. So, do you know what this this is? This is a zombie. Reginald, Reginald was not like the other zombies. The other zombies wanted brains for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but not Reginald. See, they're all thinking about what? Brains, right? There's Reginald. What's he thinking about? <laughs> all Reginald wanted was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Brains, moaned the zombie horde, shuffling through the streets of Corkville. Wherever the zombies went, people ran, screaming in fear. Nobody wanted their brains eaten. Not for breakfast, not for lunch, not even for dinner. So how did the zombies walk? They go, brains, brains. <laughs> Reginald didn't shuffle with them. His stomach rumbled and growled, and all he could do was dream about a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm. Sweet jelly, Mon Reginald. Sticky peanut butter. <laughs> so he really likes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. How about you? Do you like PB&J? I love PB&J. No brains? <laughs> the other zombies asked. How are the zombies looking at Reginald? They're looking at him like he's crazy. No brains, said Reginald. Peanut butter and jelly. The other zombies shook their heads. If you tried peanut butter and jelly, said Reginald, you'd never want brains again. But the zombies just shambled off. Brains. Reginald went to the corner cafe and tried to order a sandwich, but the man behind the counter shook his head and pointed to a sign. He tried the school cafeteria, but the lunch lady slapped a, a hunk of meatloaf on his tray instead. It looked an awful lot like brains. What does the sign say? No zombies allowed. Aww. <laughs> it does look like brains, right? The meatloaf. Reginald even tried Oscar's grocery, but when Oscar rang up the loaf of bread, the peanut butter, and the strawberry jelly, Reginald couldn't pay. Sorry, said Oscar, paying customers only. Oh no, what does he have right there? What's he trying to pay with? With worms and dirt. Reginald left the store and his groceries behind. Hmm... Across the street stood little Abigail Zink, the smartest girl in Quirkville. She carried a lunch bag in her hand. What's he thinking? Reginald recognized the familiar jelly stain that was seeping through the paper bag. Peanut butter and jelly, he moaned. <laughs> what do you think um, Abigail's gonna think when she sees a zombie running towards her? What would you do if you saw a zombie shuffling over you, towards you? I would be scared. The zombie horde shuffled and shambled across the corner. Brains! They moaned, licking their lips at the sight of little Abigail's ink. 
The townspeople froze in their tracks, including the mayor and his prancing poodle. Oh no, everyone's scared because they see those zombies. But what's everyone thinking of? They're thinking of brains. And Reginald's thinking of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Suddenly, little Abigail Zink dropped the bag holding her peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Reginald lurched forward and seized it. That means he got it. Look at all those books. She's a reader. <laughs> we like readers. <laughs> he raised the jelly stain back to his lips. He could practically taste the delicious sticky peanut butter and sweet strawberry jelly. Mmm. Little Abigail Zink let out a shriek. The mayor's poodle yeeped and yapped, and the townspeople all screamed, Ah! <laughs> If the other zombies could just smell the peanut butter, Reginald thought, if they could just taste the sweet jelly. Brains, cried Reginald, holding up the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Brains, moaned the zombies. Reaching for the sandwich, Reginald threw it into the crowd of drooling zombies. So he tricked everyone. He told them that the peanut butter and jelly sandwich was brains. <laughs> when the zombies tore into the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, their eyes lit up. Not brains, they said. Licking their lips. Yummy, better than brains. The zombies rubbed their bellies and the townspeople smiled. Why? They're just hungry, declared the mayor, and peanut butter and jelly does the trick. <laughs> How's Reginald feeling? He looks like he's feeling proud of himself and happy. Peanut butter and jelly did do the trick. The zombies no longer wanted brains and the townspeople were no longer afraid of the zombies. Soon, the zombies were a regular part of Crookville. <laughs> They collected the garbage, walked the dogs, and swept the streets. They were happy to help and even happier to be paid in peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But Reginald wasn't like the other zombies. But Reginald still wasn't like the other zombies. Because they were, while they were enjoying their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Reginald had moved to... Pizza. <laughs> so there you have it. This funny book called Peanut Butter and Jelly Brains. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I don't know about you, but I got a little bit hungry. And I had to make myself a peanut butter and jelly pizza. <laughs> Thank you.